Welcome my friends to Space Engineers, my name is Daily Fix and I'm looking forward to get started today. Uh, for today, <clears throat> sorry about that, I'm getting the cold and it's getting worse and worse each, each passing day. We'll be looking into assemblers and I want to go into modules as well. Like I said earlier on, I wanted to get speed modules on our refineries and uh, no i wanted to get yield modules on the refineries and speed modules on our assemblers also i try to get rid of some of the grass i think and this is the only spot that i need to change now i did uh, change the staircase a tiny tiny bit there used to be one additional block uh, but you could actually see it here from the uh, ground floor and I did not like that at all that is annoying we have to get rid of that but we'll do that in the future oh boy this empty empty space I still love it I really dig this design so so bad um hope you do too <laughs> anyways uh, we have a good assembler over here uh, I think it's also going to be time quite soon that we get started on a area where this miner can be and I was thinking about going with sensors and hangar doors but we'll see I've never worked with um, with sensors before so hopefully I can actually do that so we can rid of the final things and we can actually place a window in here we need to um, fill this up and get a staircase to the roof because well it's just the logical thing to do also thinking about getting maybe another floor in here although i'll think about it some more as for now let's just get it going and we need to make sure that we get into a conveyor system so let's take a quick look here do we have the assembler we have the staircase which we don't need so conveyor and we need the junction and we need Two of those, it's probably more in resources as you can see over here, so we can actually get rid of you, place you in there. We have the assembler, uh, which I can't do right there, so let's get rid of this text. Assembler. And I want to get started with at least two. So with all of that done, let's uh, start filling this up, let's go into first person. That might have not been the best decision. We'll... Oh, damn. We'll, we're going to be losing some materials here. This is a, this is bad. Bad. Let's do the computers over there. So we know this is from over there. Hopefully, it is enough for me to get rid of uh, this one. Nope. Not enough. Damn it. Let's see. Let's move up. Ooh. And let's get rid of the metal grids as well. Those are quite heavy as well as the interior plates. So we can pick everything up. This should be almost enough. Can we move in here like that? Wow, we can actually fit. There we go. And let's get that junction out of here. So junction. That doesn't work like that, David. Come on. Conveyor. And put you on side of that half block. That is fine. So let's place you up here and let's start welding you together. Interior plates will uh, will collect. It's getting is is it getting more dark? Did I press L by any chance? Maybe. Uh, let's get you here. These, these, and these. There you go. Should be more than enough. Can we do it from above here? No. Unfortunately, we cannot. So, seven. Let's get another conveyor tube. Let's move outside. There you go. Although, uh, no, I don't want to do it. The thing is, if you do it like this, um, you'll have a space like this one where you can look inside. And I, I seriously hate that. It's like... If I grind this thing a bit down, you can see I should just make a block over there. I made a block over there. 
Hey, we can actually do that. So this this won't bother me as much. There you go. Oh, I will, I will feel better already. Um, but maybe I'll just need a conveyor over there so we can't look inside because yeah, that that's definitely something that bugs me a, a lot. I really don't like that. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to get another junction. Wait, what? A sorter in here as well. I was not aware of that. So let's get you. And um, we'll um, we'll lack some components in the end, but things are fine. So with that done. Oh, it's it's dark as well. So go paint. Do gray. Okay. Four. There you go. Whatever. Doesn't matter. As for our assembler. Let's see. If this goes up. Yeah, it has to. There you go. Uh, we're going to be constructing one and then we'll be constructing the other because we can actually remove the one that is standing uh, the, on the uh, first floor. So we definitely will be doing that. So it's out of the way. We have to get rid of the uh, module as well. And we need to think about other power sources. Now, I think there is not going to be uranium on this planet. I am not very certain about it, but I think that is going to be the case. Which is highly unfortunate, but not something we can change. Inventory is full, so let's get building again. Let's run down. Ooh, almost fall down the stairs. Uh, I, I would... Is there a railing? Is there a staircase with a railing? I would really like a railing. Because I will kill myself otherwise. So, with that done... Let's uh, go up. So, we have the two on the sides and we'll have the one in the back. So, we can actually go ahead and place in the same one at the same angle. That's not completely true. We need to flip it like this. And what I would like to know in the comment section from you is what... Will I need to connect the upper one as well to a conveyor system? It is something we can do. It's something that I might not be very happy about doing. But if there's no other option to get both working, I will. And we'll just have to run one from over here. But uh, we'll, have to rep we'll have to place the mining, the mining ship somewhere else so yeah we'll have to think about it because i would have to remove this entire thing and that means this will be without power and it will fall it will fall to the ground and will damage damage my ship which would be bad now these are all going to be steel plates by the looks of things um okay okay um i guess wasn't aware there was something actually being constructed at the moment. Wow. So let's get um, CC. Put everything in there. Uh, excuse me. That's weird. Why can I not place these in there? I can. Am I pressing the wrong button? No, I'm not. Oh well. Inventory full. Great. So this one is in mine. Place everyone, everything in there. Can can you please be selected? Well, you got yourself connected. There is really there's a lot of it. Uh, we can just get stuff from there. There's a lot of construction components. Damn, I wasn't aware I made so many of them. So let's take a quick look on what we need. Um, is this one finished? No, let's get rid of these. And now we're just going to be right clicking. Add to the assembler. Cannot redraw this place. So we'll have to construct those. And they should be made because we still have an assembler 
So let's wait until that's finished. And let's do that again. All the components have been successfully gotten. There we go. So we can add a bunch, a bunch of modules here. So one, two, three, uh, four, five, six speed modules. And oh boy, <laughs> that's going to be a lot. We're going to be starting with the assemblers or the refineries first. One, two, three, four of them. Oh boy. Oh man. It's, it's, it's four, eight, 16. 16 yield modules. I think yield is more important than speed. Um, correct me if I'm a complete idiot. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, yield. So we can get rid of the assembler for now. This one can go conveyor belt. We might need, but not right now. And we need a lot of them. Once again, let's go yield. And if we three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we can just add eight. Well, it's fine. We'll uh, get everything then. Cannot redraw a certain amount of things, so. Here we go, let's, let's hook up you again. Why do we need to flip you? That should be fine. Ooh, was there a bit of lag? So there we go. And this will consume so much power that it will eventually drain my base. So, yeah, we need a way to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's get back. Let's do a walking because I am better at that. <laughs> um, let's construct whatever it is that we still require. And let's get everything. And just weld this all together. Now we can also start just placing those two over here. Because, well, these two are constructed, so we might as well. Because we have eight in our queue, and it will give us all the stuff for those eight. So, yeah. Also, let's turn on lights, because uh, I think it might be a bit dark in here. Wait, is my light on? There you go. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's get all of that done and rush over here as well. And make sure we do the top one first. Uh, which can't do anything. Okay, so what we require is more stuff. Production is on its way, but we're lacking gold. So I think it's time. I think it's time that we take our miner out. And gold is not too far away. So, hey, did it, didn't I show you already how it worked? I can't remember. But um, we'll, uh, we'll have a go at it right now. So, recharge. Although lock is off. Let's make sure we get out of the... I love the cockpit though. Um, inventory, GPS, gold and silver... Let's do show on the map as well. Which one is closest? I think it's actually over there. Yeah, we'll go there. And it's very, very nimble. It actually is doing an amazing job. And yes, we still have to armor this thing on. I've been just so busy. If we can get the refineries and the assemblers like to work the way I would like to, then that would be great. So let's move down. And uh, let's take a quick look on where that gold actually is. Because I think it's actually a long ass way down. And you can see there is actually a mining shaft. Okay, so gold is there. And look at this, we got power, power for years. So Let's make sure we start uh, digging down. And it is a long as way down. 
for sure. Let's flip the camera a tiny bit. Uh, let's make sure that we don't go too sideways. And what I've been doing is we need to level this a bit. Oh boy. And that is my problem. It doesn't flip like automatic. So I have to be extremely careful over here. And just making sure we got a very, very nice large hole going down. And I'll spare you the rest and I'll see you when we're there. Okay, so we actually made it all the way to gold. And it's going to be a nice asshole. So, let us uh, press the other mouse button and let's go downwards. And let's make sure we get this lovely lovely gold um, because we require quite a significant sum of it we can go in the ship like this but i kind of think it just lacks a lot of vision so we'll just mine out like this now it will fill up quite quite fast and luckily for these engines man they're great they are absolutely fantastic they do an amazing job at keeping me afloat, even when... Uh-oh, look at that. Ah, uh, come on, Gyro, you can do this. Because I'm an idiot, and I can actually get this thing destroyed in a matter of seconds. Uh-oh, the other way. There we go. We don't want unnecessary damage to our ship. So we we'll have to keep it leveled at all times. Let's take a quick look. Inventory, full, almost full, and the containers are full as well. It's a lot of stone, it's not as much on the gold as I hoped, um, but well, can't have it all right. So let's do it like this, so how much is this gold ore? Hmm. Well, we'll see how far we can get. Let's see, there we go. It's just such a small vein. There you go. I think this is more than enough. Let's get back to our hole. And let's uh, zoom upwards. So. What is going on? Let me go into my other person. If my ship would allow me, then I would be so grateful. Okay, we'll uh, do it like this, I guess. There we go, we're free. Can we now get out of the first person view? Oh boy, yes we can. Where is the base? First base. Is over there. You can feel it is getting heavier. You you can definitely feel it. Um, but it's not too bad. So let's keep it leveled. I think it is going down slowly. Mm, which is fine. So let me meet back with you when we start grinding this stuff down. And hopefully we'll have enough to get all of the modules done. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh man, I've been... Um, we just passed the uh, 1 hour and 5 minute mark. I had to do several trips in order to get all of those yield modules in. <laughs> I uh, almost crashed my miner again, uh, which would not have been new at all. But we did it. We have all of the yield modules up and running they're all installed now what remains is uh, what i'm going to be leaving for next episode guys because i'm rather tired and i would really really like to do something else for a change <sighs> so next time we are going to be working on the speed modules of our assemblers i think we might just in case run a conveyor belt system over here and i will uh, patch up this uh Ah, uh, 
these four blocks over here because it looks hideous. In terms of power, and that is something that has me a bit scared, is uh, if I go to... Where are you? I believe I had base power somewhere, but I guess not. Um, recharged, recharged, recharged. Do you see the amount of days? It is all recharged in two days, meaning we are barely, barely cutting it in terms of power. So, yeah, that one solution brings another problem. And usually I'm okay with that. Uh, but uh, look at this, it's, it's been well into the night. We need to think of a way to get more solar power. And I would like to do that in in a good manner. So we can actually think of a good solution to do this. But also I would like to start building pillars of, um, of these wind turbines. Maybe just to make the base shaped a bit less like a box what we can do um, is build out a small plateau and just build all of these wind turbines next to each other is it proficient no oh no no <laughs> oh boy it isn't it is not proficient at all but eventually i would like to oh my god i'm going to run out of hydrogen quite soon um, eventually I would like to build a small extension on the roof just so it doesn't look as much as a box anymore because yeah that's not something I prefer so yeah that's all ideas for the common common future so to say can we just fill these in here thank you where's my third one I had another one. Yeah. Of course it's like that. Huh? Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. As for now, thank you. Goodbye.